we're going to look at some different picking angles in these this technique warm-up. Do another 10-minute warm-up. This is great to do before you start playing or maybe separate your, your technique and your improvising or creative time into different segments. Um, we usually need warm up to warm up before we can play our best anyway. So this, this could be one thing if this is a technique you want to work on. So with your right hand, this is great for getting a very relaxed grip and practicing picking the string with the most relaxation you can. And it's simply the right hand, not the left hand. So we're gonna leave the left hand off and we're gonna have the tip of the pick here pointed, slanted upwards. So I do that by letting the hand hang down, hang loose. This is often thought of as like the, if you were to hold a dart and throw it completely loose, or if you were to hold a, a, a rock and, and skip the rock. So we need the hand loose. And when you do that, you'll notice the hand tends to open up a little bit, kind of like Lego hands. Um, if you close it, completely tight, it's going to be tense. You can feel the muscles. Try it. If you have your hand fully extended, it's going to be tense. So it's somewhere in that mid range, but it's not forced there. It's the muscles being relaxed and you can test them by hanging it loose like that. Now, in order to get the pick, um, so it doesn't fall out of your hands, we don't squeeze tight, uh, cause that creates too much tension and you'll get sore and you won't be able to move very well. What you want to do is have the hands in that most loose position you can, which ends up being a bit of an open fist like that. And then the thumb very gently will come over somewhere around here. For me, it's kind of between the tip of the index and the first knuckle. So I'm gonna place my pick on that finger and the round part I'm gonna use for this, not the pointy part comes out between the first knuckle and the tip. And my thumb is going to come back over top this way. And it's going to be like that so that it's reinforced. If I'm too much off this way, the pick can be a bit loose, which I don't like for the single note style playing or this uh, tremolo picking style. So like this, open and relaxed as much as can be, only a small part of the tip pointing out. So it's basically like it's, it's, it's mostly on the thumb with a small portion. So it's almost like the thumb going with just a little bit side of the thumb that picks the strings. So hanging it loose over the side, it'll look like this. And my wrist will fall down a little bit. Sometimes we call it the fallen wrist. We're going to have that round part of the pick slanted up. So instead of the 45 degree angle, which we did in the other video, which goes across the string that way, we're going to be taking a different angle, which reduces resistance by having the ramp up. So it'd be like the tip pointing up towards my heart almost, right? But wherever it feels relaxed and loose, we have to find that, that relaxation point. And then we swing in that center of motion there, which ends up being a forearm rotation and a loose wrist. So I'm going to plant my pick on the big string. I'm going to rest it there. And then I'm going to go through and rest on the string below. But I'm starting from that rotation where the pick is slanted upward. And then through the string. Just doing that as relaxed as I can.
if this is working for you. <laughs> Go for it. So upward slant, rotation out, down, rest on the string below. Ooh, small string now. But you notice with this one, there's no string below it to rest on. So wind up, try to get this rotation arc pretty consistent. So not going really far out or really far up. Just whatever you need to go above the string and below. But that's the, the motion, right? Eventually you can get into smaller motions, but it has to be relaxed and loose like a butterfly. Um, that's that. So I'll show you maybe a slightly easier way to start this if you found that challenging. So instead of the wind up and then the follow through, we can hold the string and then, so our, our hand is all ready, but make sure you're holding it at an upward slant. So you're wrapping through the pick, through the string. The pick isn't flat, because if it's flat, it gets stuck. There's too much resistance. So reduce the resistance by just angling, or I think we call this a slant. All right, so through that, but hold the string, at the slant, go through and rest. Hold the string at a slant, go through and rest. Hold the string, <laughs> go through it. Bit of a long day. Hold the string, go through. Hold the string, go through. Hold the string, go through. So it's two motions. You hold it first, you follow through. That will train you to get used to that motion. So next string, we're gonna hold it at a slant, go through, hold it at a slant, go through, hold it at a slant, go 